Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Nanny Stories Saturday. I am Nanny Joanne. Moms, nannies, caregivers, dads, children, have you guys ever panicked because mom and dad or the kid that you're supposed to be watching is not in your line of sight? I have. That happened to me, thankfully, only one time. We were at a park, and this park is not a fenced-in park. This story actually happened to me last summer with one of the kids that I was watching. I was at a park, and we were at a play date. It was a hot summer day, and there were many kids on the playground. If I had to guess, there were probably about maybe 50 to 60 kids, both toddlers, middle school kids, and what seemed to be high schoolers there, like ninth graders, 10th graders, you know, the cool kids. So anyways, so I'm there on a play date talking to another nanny friend of mine and the kids are out playing together. And we probably, I probably got lost in the conversation for maybe like a minute or two. So I go to look around and I don't see my kid. Immediately, I was like, all right, hold on. I'm gonna go find my kid. I circled the parks and I was hollering his name. My voice was not panicked because I didn't want to look like that person who lost their kid, nor did I want to alarm the kid that I was watching because we all know what happens with kids who think that they're going to get in trouble. They don't come out. So I was calmly saying, Joe, Joe, Joe. No response. I go back to my friend who's a nanny and I'm like, oh my God, can you help me find, you know, this little boy, Joe? I, I can't find him. So I go this way, she goes that way. And then I told her, let's meet up, you know, in the middle. I hear her holler, Joanne, I found him. I was like, oh my, <sighs> what a sigh of relief. Cause that is the worst thing that can ever happen to any mom, any caregiver. You lose your child like oh my god how many horror stories have we heard of that you know things like this happen what happened was that there was a a boat you know there's a lot of parks that imitate like pirate ships and you know cabins so at this particular park there was a boat and the boat's side comes up fairly high so he was sitting on the seat of the boat and the side of the boat covered him so I couldn't see him. He he was a, he was three years old at the time. But he was just calmly sitting there, just, you know, waiting back and forth on the boat, you know, looking around, you know, seeing the birds, seeing the kids, you know, playing on the side. And I was like, oh, hey, Joe, this is where you are? And he's like, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. I didn't tell him that I thought he was lost. I didn't tell him that I was worried because I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like it was important to tell him that, you know, there's no need to give him extra anxiety or to make him think like, oh, how are you? And you know what? I feel like maybe it wasn't the right place. Like if he was crying and you know, a mother gave him to me, that's different. I would have been like, oh my God, I was looking for you. Are you okay? Are you? But he was clearly fine. So I didn't need to upset him with my upsetness because, you know, I, I'm a big believer of energy and energy traveling. So I, would, I was just like, oh, okay. If you're going to go anywhere else, you know, let me know because I can't really see you in this boat. But needless to say, the conversation that I continued to have with my friend was right there at the entrance of the boat so I can see him. And then I did see him go and leave the boat. But the whole time I saw him, you know, and I followed his gaze. Okay, he's over there. Hey, so blah, 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 blah. You know, we continue to talk. You know, he played independently. He didn't really need me. His other friends were there. But long story short. That's what happened to me. All in all, it was a good day. We had like a little mix up, but at the end of the day, he was safe, which is number one. And he wasn't really lost. I just couldn't see him because he was in the boat and he was smaller. It's like one of those instances where you're at a park and your kid is going in a slide that's covered. And at that precise moment, you're like, oh my God, where's my kid? I can't see him. Meanwhile, he's going down the slide. So obviously you can't see him because the slide is one of those slides where it's covered. Parents, I'm sure that you guys can relate to this. Nannies, please, if you can relate to this, let me know. You know, we're all human. You know, it's not that it was a mistake. I mean, I guess I should have had my eyes glued on him the whole entire time. But people, 
Let's be realistic. Are we going to be like this? Watching our kid the whole time? No. You know, we talk, we move, we go like this, we see other things. Oh, she has nice shoes. Oh, look at how cute that baby is. In a second, anything like this can happen. So don't judge me too harshly. You know, please, if you can relate, leave a comment down below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys all next Saturday with more nanny stories from yours truly, Nanny Joanne.